Welcome back to Anita's Joint. Hashtag has been the joint. Where every day is payday, baby. You tuned in to another esoteric moral commentary with your girl, Anita Flying High. So tonight, or today, we're watching England versus the Netherlands. And um, this should be a, a great match. Um, I'll, get the audio, I'll get the audio here for you uh, shortly. But when I was looking at the lineup, Minima and um, Von the Dog. If they were in the this for if they were in this lineup for Netherlands, I think this would have been a different result than we expected, in my opinion. But I, I, I unfortunately was given spoilers. But we're gonna tune in to see how it all you know played out. Watch it together we're live on Twitch. Uh, live on Twitch. So I'm excited. Yeah, we back. We back with some more. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah, we good. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, 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 yeah. So yeah, anyways, <clears throat> yeah, England and Netherlands. So I'm liking, I'm liking the England lineup right here. Okay, so in the midfield, I was thinking to myself as the match kicks off. I was thinking to myself like, all right. Brad Kirby needs to be playing for England, you know, in the middle. And um, I was like, he, who do you uh, put, you know, instead, you know? So I like that she has Walsh, Kirby, and you have Williamson. So we're going to see um, who out of that trio. I, I, would, I would say Kirby is going to be more active. And then in the back line for England, you have, you know, um, Daly. And now Greenwood coming in and Braun. So Daly Greenwood, well, Daly and um, Millie Bright, of course, for, not for City, but and uh, Greenwood and Braun for City. So, you know, uh, I'm liking Daly there because, of course, she's Houston and uh, she scored a goal. So up top, we got um, Beth England, Beth England, Hemp, and Chloe Kelly. So. I think this is also good because you know Ellen White. Apparently, she got hurt. I, I'm not too sure, so we may not be seeing her. And I don't know. So you know, this is now Beth England here. She's getting the start, uh, and uh, I'm happy to see her. You know what I'm saying? And even on the Netherlands, good, uh, even on the Netherlands, I think this is a good front lineup that they have. I think uh, you know it sucks. You know your best goal scorer is not with you know out here with you, but I mean you you gotta see how y'all you gotta see what Netherlands are gonna do because you know this is pretty what in a way that what they're kind of gonna look like. But England here in the red, England are in the red, and or it's like red, I think it's red, uh, and and Netherlands are in the white. And a full house, full crowd. So it's Kirby here, Creighton looking for him. Uh, and honestly, I, I don't really, I, I've already told y'all, already told y'all, England are too talented to not to lose. I mean, I, I don't see how England cannot win the Euros. Um, and if they don't, honestly, I'll be very disappointed because I feel like by far they had the, the best team and they had the depth. And I mean, they're playing at home. We cannot be ridden any better. But I mean, you know, I know how football is, but I mean, I think that it's too talented to lose. And it's going to be really disappointing if they can't pull this out. Uh, I'm going to be heartbroken, but, you know, it happens. <laughs> Shit, it really happens. And um, but I'm looking forward to the story of how it un unfolds. And, um, you know, we're going to continue to fly high and, you know, tune in. Also, I might uh, watch. A I was right when I had talked about when we were watching England and Belgium. Um, I was right. Spain did play is did play Australia, so I'm gonna tune into that match also because um, I want to see how Spain are looking. You know, now that I have now that City have got gained two new Spanish players, um, you know, you gotta tune in to see how Spain will do because we'll see them at the Euros as well. And I know Germany and Switzerland and even Austria are playing. Uh, so I was trying to, you know, figure out what teams I want to watch, and it's kind of great that we're getting to see them right before the Euros to kind of get a familiar grasp of who may be, you know, performing well and uh, who we need to take notice to or who we don't see and who needs to get, you know, get it together. Um, but, uh, yeah, in the midfield for England, uh, I mean, I feel like uh, they're going to have, you see, I think that's uh, Jill Martins and, and Jansen. 
um, for, right here for Netherlands. I think they have a pretty good team. And I was thinking about, um, you know, this is a team that won the Euros with some additions probably still here, I would think, because the Euros wasn't that long ago. But this was the team that won, you know. And I, I can see, I can understand how they did. And um, some of the players have gotten older. But they, they I think, uh, who's missing? Um, Van de Sande is missing for... Uh, for Netherlands as well, so she's an influential player. I saw at the um, what was it the Olympic? Not the Olympics. Was it Olympics? Well, yeah, it was Olympics that we saw or the World Cup. But yeah, you know, you know, Netherlands, oh, and they got a new coach. So, you know, Netherlands, I, they should perform well. I would not saying they shouldn't be poor, but they should. You know, I don't, I don't know if this team's gonna win it again. Um, you know what I'm saying, and I'm trying to figure out how I like the England New Jersey. It's kind of like a. Uh, orangish reddish but um yeah the last time we saw them play belgium it, uh, it was what the second half the first the first team was poor right the first uh starting 11 were poor i gave them a bad, a bad review uh, i wasn't happy with the performance um i like this lineup right here this is a little bit more i can see england bringing out this lineup and uh, um in a Euro match here, I can see this as a starting lineup, and also you could, you could always uh, have a Beth Mead up there as well for Chloe Kelly, and also have to exchange a hemp for Nikita Paris as well. So, you know, England have a uh, options up front, and also I'm not saying Russo is gonna be. I'm just that's not saying like Daily Bay really. When it comes to backup strikers, you have. Um, um, not Ellen White, but um, you have uh, Russo, but I mean, Daly's there too, is what I think as well. But, uh, um, hey, let me see some looking for somebody. Things wanna short. going long in long instead. Head away. Oh, yeah, but you know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm just sipping on some uh, some cranberry vodka here. And, uh, you know, I got my pen, so I'm smoking on some, some ganja. And, uh, yeah, I want to see uh, how England, here's Kirby here, how um, everything turns about. I was just thinking this could be like a, you know, a semi-final match. Not a, a quarter-final match, England knockout stage, you know what I'm saying? The Netherlands could see England. So that was what I was thinking. That was like, uh, they're playing so early. Like, but it's just a teaser, so I'm excited. So whatever this brings us. Luckily, both teams have gotten a good look at each other and know what they need to change in these next, you know, couple weeks if they do face off. It. So. And USA also played Colombia, so we'll be looking out for that. USA. And also, I think we'll be able to watch, yeah, well, USA, next, uh, they play Tuesday, I'll be able to tune into them live, so. So. Seven minutes here. So most of the time, like, in the first half, right, we had a lot of action going up, bronze side on the right. Um, so even though it's been seven minutes in, we're still trying to get a feel of what's going on. Both teams kind of, you know. I'm you know, getting. I haven't really seen if anybody's had a, a great goal scoring opportunity just yet. Uh, but a lot more movement from uh, Netherlands. I remember when they played Brazil and uh, this is a goal. This should be a corner. I thought that was a corner kick. I like the jerseys. They kind of. I like the jerseys for uh, Netherlands. I kind of. I like the um, the feel of them. Yeah, a lot more movement, and I felt like the other the other Netherlands team I was seeing they were just slow. They didn't have they didn't have creativity. They didn't have like those exciting players. So it was just like ah, where's your spark? Where's your engine? Like who's gonna create something? Who's you know? And uh, looks already um, Jansen is uh, getting the ball out wide a lot uh, for Netherlands, uh, but. Uh, Kirby here and 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 you see at England, but England of course and and Kirby have a connection with Chelsea and Millie Bright, so we kind of have that 
up the, up the middle um, connection. Uh, so good, good uh, tackle off for for Kelly Kelly here. Yeah, Kelly's back scoring goals, and we we watch, we shot we when we watch the game. Hopefully, these goals uh, we get to see actual goals. I think we will, but. Um, Jansen here. I like this. They keep uh, breaking England really well with Jansen getting up, uh, finding, I think that's Martins in the middle, and then Berenstein. They, they find, they've done that like three or four times perfectly well. Martins making a run and, and Berenstein finding her out wide. Ooh, uh, they've done that like, yeah, multiple times easily getting past England. Uh, so you need to watch out. Uh, get that call. So, yeah. Daily shouts to the girl Daily. Just about got that free kick. Did well to read the through ball because it was a fantastic ball. Just a, 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 a flailing leg, maybe. Destination, but it shows the the intent that the Netherlands have and those clever, intricate passes that they've got the ability to play through the back line. Lucy Bronze, one of those who played against the Netherlands five years ago in the semi-final. Yeah, but so you see Walsh playing in the deeper role right now for England. And uh, Williamson playing high, and then Fran Kirby playing high as well. Mary Earps in the sticks. Out of all the goalkeepers, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Mary Earps, you know me. The Manchester United goalkeeper. Uh, Netherlands. And I think uh, Netherlands have uh, Newman. I think she plays for Chelsea in the back. So I was like, okay. Because I'm trying to figure out who else I kind of recognize um, the other names. And she's one of them. Uh, so Chelsea will be represented at the Euros. And um, my second uh, favorite for the Euros honestly has to be France. Um, and um, hopefully, I've already said it before. I say England. France in the final of the Euros, and honestly, when I'm just looking at the teams that I've watched, if, I, if it's different, I'm gonna be like, really? How the fuck did that happen? Maybe a Sweden, we can see a Sweden. I'm just, and I'm, I saw Germany, and I wasn't really, ooh, that was a good effort for England. I saw Germany, I just wasn't convinced. I seen Spain too, and I still wasn't convinced, even though they should have won. Um, so. I mean, I think England, France, Sweden, maybe. And I think Norway are going to be looking a little spicy because, you know, why not? You know, have, you know, a, you know I just think, I think Norway, I think they, hopefully they cause some problems for people. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to, good, another good ball. And it's really great that Netherlands have a player over the top, like, Bernstein, uh, because her pace is going to cause so many problems for back lines in the Euros. Uh, and, and you have Amidama, and then you have Martins up top. I'm telling you, that front three is real good. Like, it's like, damn. And you, I, like I said, I can see how this is, this is a squad that won the Euros back then. Um, but now things have changed. You know, they, um, players and teams are getting really, uh, well, anyways, they're just producing. Ooh. Uh, you know, they're like having golden eras. Barrison is well looking for a call. You know, every, every everyone's having like a, a sprout in golden in golden gym players, which is just great, honestly, at the end of the day. Um, I mean, as an observer, you know what I'm saying? You want quality players around the field for both teams. So it'll be a good contest. Oh, no foul given here. England get it back. 12 minutes deep, we are saying. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday to everyone. Happy cancer season to everyone as well. So we're going to be in our feelings all summer when it comes to the Euros. And uh, yeah, I feel like with cancer, we may be petty. But it is what it is. It is, it is what it is. You're going to enjoy yourself. But it, we could be in our feels. I think, and I know the Euros is going to bring just like so much emotion and Oh snap! A hemp, a hemp that girl, hemp, doing well. I think, like I said, I think she was young player of the year. Uh, yeah, and she's been just 
doing well. Hemp, you know, risky back pass right there. Hemp with the, you know, cinch. Looking to get that deflection. Close. But they're both Lionesses, which is pretty interesting. Uh, the Netherlands and England. Uh, no pressure from Beth England. Nice ball, too, from Newman to Bernstein. You see, just that one ball top. Very nicely well done from Netherlands. I was like, is that Jill right there? With the, that's that's playing uh, this roar right here. Helped on, but helped out to play. What about that penalty, Clay? Okay, this is Berenson. Ooh, what she did. The Cure Walsh Clipper. Ah! I think potentially. Walsh gets that first touch. It was close. That was, that's a VAR moment right there. That's a VAR moment. But of course, you know, we we're all Team England. So, you know, and they're playing at home. So, but that's infinitely a VAR moment. Um, and uh, I, I would need an extra set of eyes and three, you know, extra replay on that one. Um, if you're England, you know, you're happy to get away with that. No big saves just yet for either goalkeeper. 15 minutes. Both teams pretty pretty sound. We're talking about before when Lauren Hemp nearly stole a goal out, out of absolute oh. nothing. But the Netherlands have been quite clever in dropping off, not allowing England to have that space in behind because they know the threat. Of course, the Netherlands have to find their playmakers. Like nothing, nothing, nothing uh too different. Fine Martins, fine Bernstein, uh Jill, um, find those players and see what they can do. Uh, and Jansen's been doing well on the uh, left side of uh, Netherlands. So find her. And if you're England, that's Chloe Kelly's side and Lucy Ron's side. Y'all gotta uh, see how uh, y'all can exploit Jansen getting farther up on on this side for the Dutch. And see how they can exp how y'all can exploit that. Um, Hemp hasn't made one of her runs yet. Just yet faced up. But we need to see who who's going to start creating for England. Frank, they got to find Frank Kirby, I feel. But who else is going to step up and, you know, Alex Greenwood always can pull some strings from the back. But who else um, uh, can help England get some goals? Because, you know, England, they're just, just there. They're just a firecracker just waiting to go off based upon, you know, they play in a pretty high scoring league. Just, ah. Uh, Heavy ball back from Bronx and Greenland. Come on, ladies, y'all play together. Good pressure from Bernstein. Great pressure there from Bernstein. She knows that every loose ball, she's ready. She's there to pounce on it. She's done really well so far at, at holding that line, at keeping them honest, playing between the two centre backs to make them drop slightly, to make them uncomfortable. And she's done. She's done a really good job so far. Closing in on 80 caps. In it, first night. Martins. All right, this is uh. Ooh. Netherlands, they gotta get a, ooh, a strike off here. Jill. Ooh. ooh. Still here for Netherlands. Oh my goodness. Ah, good save. Wow, great save from Erps. Bernstein was there. This was Jill shot, it tripled, it deflected, and it cut all the way through her. Good fight from Braun, staying on her feet, and then Millie Bright's got a nibble right there. And then Mayor Arabs is here. Oh, the defense from England scrambling. Netherlands, oh, good strike. That was a good uh, ball in the box for Netherlands. Erbs is a down. Good action okay for Netherlands, getting, you know, getting, uh, causing problems, causing saves, 
making that initial and play. um causing some problems for England here makes the punch just a little bit late and I'm trying to figure out that was kind of off that play where um they bronze and Greenwood they kind of just it was just the passes were too heavy right Marathon went and you know uh put the pressure on so yeah it was kind of off of that this was kind of off that momentum but you know a couple minutes down Herbs got to catch your breath real quick uh, so yeah, um, there's a lot of international matches going on right now. Um, do my best to pump some matches out because I want to watch the matches. And actually, I haven't tuned into any of the ladies. I feel like in a while, so you know, it's always great to just tune into their vibes, see how they're doing, and you know, I just think about uh, how fun is it to be able to watch uh, the ladies play. You know, just. Pretty much every day, any time, any, any, you know, with the leagues and everything, it's just like, ah, oh, wow. It's pretty dope. It's pretty awesome, you know. It's like, it's like the boys' league. It's like, wow. <laughs> Where do we live? But anyways, everyone's up 20 minutes in. England, off that, you know, it's close, close goal from Netherlands. Ber Berenstein and Jill causing problems for England. And England, yeah, they had they had a clean sheet uh, against uh, Belgium. And like I said, if Minamo was if Minamo was out here, man, Netherlands would be looking a little even more dynamic. I'm just saying, real lucky. And I, I can understand why uh, you know Mark Parsons Furry wouldn't play Minamo, but ah, uh, you know that I would have like I would have liked to see Minamo. This is really risky from. From uh, oh my goodness, Millie Bright, and also just like, as you see, it that was a bad pass. Uh, Millie Bright ends up turning over. I think that was Daly or what, Greenwood that couldn't cope with that, and so Gordon here, yeah, just all all bad defense and spread. You 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 know what? You got your center back trying to get the two attackers. That's not good for England right there. Not looking good. But a goal kick. I mean a corner kick for Netherlands. <sighs> See if they can capitalize on it's been Netherlands wave right now. You know what I'm saying? They've been they've been uh, down England's throat. Alright, this corner kick is pretty decent. Ooh, send it back in the net. Wow, well done, Ennis Martins. Okay. Done nicely. First goal at England, in England. Ooh, Netherlands. They you know and it's Martins, I'm not surprised, you know what I'm saying? Getting her head on the ball on this one. I like the finish and it's also all of England's lack of like defensive like their mistakes in the back uh, so England you kind of gate you know mess this one up um, this was a good corner Martins is just right there on the inside of the penalty box I mean who was right there that's Daly trying to mark her is that Daly right there or is that Walsh no yeah it was Walsh Mary Earps she was going there that was Kira Walsh with the marking on, on Martins, and she's just good header right there. Well, that's what I want to see. I want Martins. She's gonna have to have a great season. I mean, good Euros as well because I mean, uh, she's a goal scorer as well. I see what she could do. You know what I'm saying? But how hilarious! Uh, she scores in the 22nd minute. All right, here's Bronze here, getting some space for England. She has Fran Kirby still on her feet, and this is. Chloe Kelly with the ball in. So England are trailing. 1 0. Ah, we don't really want to see that too much. But off a great goal, though. I think this was a great goal. And like I said, all of the England's lack of defense. Oh my goodness. This is a great ball. Berenstein? Oh my. She, I was like, luckily, um, Daly was tracking back all kind of already. Uh, but if Berenstein had touched that any more differently, this could have been 2 0 right here. Like, this, this lovely ball, just through the space, like, England getting caught right here. Like, you know, very lucky. Oof. England getting caught, looking, looking a little slip, slipping, looking a little slipping, England. That could have almost been on goal from the girl daily. Ah. Slipping, England, got to get it together. So this is, uh... So spits up. We're in the corner, again. Martins. 
another go another corner kick here. Ooh, this one dropped in front of a couple people. I think this was Spites that, that did the first corner. Oh, went through Daly's legs. <clears throat> well, I don't know if she's uh, had the trail just yet. But it's good to see how England react. Um, and I'm just thinking right now, I'm just thinking about the teams that England can face um, with this type of mm, aggression. Um, or these type of players. I mean, I think uh, there could be a little, uh, 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 like I said, they don't have they don't have Minimo or Van der Dunk out there, so the intensity could be uh, high, raised a little, a little bit even higher. But just the fact that it is where it already is, and England are trailing, it's it's already kind of red flag, and off of um, you know, the, it was in the back, mistakes in the back. With your center backs um, and your goalkeeper. Okay, good ball. Hemp gets gets behind pretty quick. Gotta use that speed. Gets two players. Gets she gets foul. No foul. No foul. No foul at all. See hemp speed coming into coming into use. <clears throat> My pen. She ran out. Too much on that pass from Daly's frustrated. And the first goal was an own goal in a way for England. It was a shot from Chloe Kelly, right? But it got ricocheted off the defender. And that was what in the second half, right? Because Chloe Kelly came on in the second half, pretty sure. So that's how England had opened up their scoring sheet. So and then they, of course they scored a lot more goals in the second half. Um and because they have been playing teams like 100, right, like Monte, when they play North Macedonia, they were like 150 ranked, putting like, you know what I'm saying, like these type of teams is what they were playing. So, I, I, you, in a way, I understand why, um, you know, the, the, um, <clears throat> the ability to create, um, okay, uh, here's, uh, Paul Kelly, she gets it off Jansen, Jansen. Oh, nice cutback, uh. This is Williamson gets to Frank Kirby. Kirby still. So see, see, that's the thing. So Williamson, Kirby, I, I was interested to see what they do because that was just a good little counter. Cole Kelly got up wide. She looked for. Um, she had a great cutback. I thought she was gonna put the ball back in, and then it came to Williamson. I thought maybe she was gonna take a shot, but she kept the ball on the ground, gave it to Frank Kirby. Then you had Walsh there. So in these those in these moments off that counter, someone needs to take a shot in the midfield. It just needs to be someone. So I would have said it might it should have been Walsh. Go ahead, take a shot. But Williamson, she can too as well. Um, but she she gave it to uh, Frank Kirby. But uh, yeah, that's that's what we're still looking at for England. Who's gonna? Pop that shot up. Um. <clears throat> Sorry. It's like uh, everything. The chair wants to sleep today. We got a quarter, a quarter kick for England. Alright, Greenwood's gonna take it. Short corner. Ah, that was just, that was heavy ball back, yeah. See, you see, just, just stuff like that. Those little heavy ball back here for England. Hmm. All right, this friend Kirby, she has. Ooh, she's taking down here, right outside the penalty, right outside. This is a, this is a uh, a good goal scoring range here, and a yellow card is out. So we need some replays of this. Frank Kirby here. So this is a uh, on her own teammate. So I can see the tackle on number three was late. I'm looking at Newman, trying to see. Yeah, um, Newman. She might have got Frank Kirby, but the yellow card was had to be for number three, right? 
And the foul on Frank Murray wasn't like it was number three's tackle that it wasn't on that one. But yes, it was still a foul. Um, so yeah, this is dangerous. Uh, yeah, play tackle here. And so also, like I said, we Netherlands goal was off the corner kick. Okay, so this is a free kick. So remember, set pieces are going to be very influential. Hopefully, we get this a lot. Of, this may be a set piece goal right here. Uh, right here. This is wait. This is ooh, very close. Alex Greenwood trying to sneak it through. Trying to sneak it through real quick. But yeah, set piece goals. Let's see uh, how many there there are. I thought she, I thought well, she kept it on the ground. Spitzer's done well. Martin's here. But well, she has Williamson tracking back. So that's a good match up there. Bronze. All right, England, 30 minutes in. They're losing one nail bronze. I don't know what kind of cross that was, but you know, hey. <laughs> oh. All right, England. Thirty minutes or so fifty minutes until the second half. And Lauren Hemp's gonna have space to drive forward at that back line. Hmm. I'm right in saying this is the first time England have been behind under Serena England, so let's see how they respond to this situation. Walsh. Kelly. Alright, here's Paul Kelly here. She puts it in pretty quick. Corner kick, clear. Louis Kelly, a real threat. Great delivery from Chloe Kelly there. She's got quick feet, she's got skills, she's got pace. I'd like to see her running at that defender a little bit more, whipping those balls in. And that's where we need to see an England centre forward getting across the goalkeeper to that near post space, exactly like Ellen White tends to do. All right, corner kick for England. They got some, you know, they got really got some players in the box, no doubt. Greenwood hangs it in there. Should be able to clear, but Hemp battling to keep it alive. But it will be a goal kick in the end. I think that's probably why England went short, tried to be a bit creative with that first corner because they know that the Netherlands are so dominant in the air. So if you just whip it in directly, it's hmm. slightly more simple for them to defend. Sometimes you have to be a little bit more creative. Oh, that, that was touched. This should be a goal for England, right? Maybe? Oh, Frank Kirby, she, I thought she was going to make a better decision. I thought she was going to lay it off for uh, him. Oh, it's a goal, yeah. <laughs> Bronze ends up putting it in the back of the net. It's like a cross shot. Uh, well, it ended up being a goal off the air, right? So this is really good for England. The little counterattack. We saw Frank Kirby, but she hadn't gotten run into. So let's watch it again. See that touch? Boom. So we know this had to be the goal. This had to result in a goal. It's just not the person I expected, right? Um, you see Bronze coming up here. And just kind of like a, yeah, it's like a, a cross shot. And, you know, nice. Um, In a way, it's not the finish you kind of want from the play. But, hey, fuck it. It's, it's a goal and it's the equalizer. You know what I'm saying? Can't really complain if you're England. Because it was off an a, off a opportunity that I felt like should have been converted. So I'm not... Not too so upset. But yeah, right there, I don't know. Well, and she just she thought maybe it was going to go out of bounds. But Bronze has leveled it for England. Okay. 32 minutes here. It's 1 1 England. Right before. Uh, of course, second half. 15 minutes. A oh, good 15 minutes here. Equalize. Mm -hmm. 
comfortable wants to keep the ball up the other end of the pitch, especially after right, that ball. Right, here. Oh. Here Walsh. Uh, busted style. Bronze. Walsh. All right, all the, Walsh all the way to him. So finally we get to see him take a run or make a run. Good. That's pretty good cross. And England committing a lot of bodies into the penalty area. That's the uh, one we want uh. to see from Kira Walsh, though, spraying it out to Lauren Hemp. Even if she receives it a little bit deeper, <laughs> she's able to drive at Vilms. She's got the pace that once she picks it up, it's difficult to defend against, and she can whip those balls in. We did stay in play. Vernon, that's going to make the run, but good pressure from England this time. Nice, foot, nice footwork from the Netherlands here, right there, to get out of that pressure from England. Um, I like that. Good ball out wide here. Nice. Good. Man, Netherlands, very nice. Here, all the way to Martins up top. Man, if she could finish that. That a corner? It looked like, yeah, yeah, she made a corner and reflected off her. Yeah, the Netherlands broke down England in those, those passes. Firstly, nicely got done. Um, in the back, in the corner, with the right back for Netherlands. Um, huh. And found the upper player in the middle. So, really good. Now, Netherlands able to, you know, get through England pretty well. Okay, corner kick here. Netherlands, they scored off the corner. The Dutch shirt is not as cleared away by England. And if you are just joining in on this game, yes, England are playing in orange and the Dutch are playing in mostly white. Who awake it for both? Mm -hmm. Bills. Spitzer. Now Janssen. Got about what ten minutes. Now on. Martins is picking up some varied positions. Yeah, nothing ones uh, look good. They look I like I like the team. I like the team. I think they're gonna look they look crispy, they look real smooth. Um and I'm excited to see how they play against some other teams as well, but versus, especially versus England, I just think they, I mean, honestly, you put a Minima and a, a Minima out there, I mean, I feel like this is, like I said, this is a game where both teams have to score some goals to, to move on. Uh, there's been air passes between both, but mainly, uh, eh, I would say they've been po both punished so far e equally, one view, and it's one, one, one. And, but the goal, um, how did I was trying to figure out the goal from England wasn't as great as the goal from Netherlands, in my opinion. So, it's enabled Netherlands to have a lot more rotation. Bernstein normally plays out wider, Broad can play in the middle. It's made it difficult for England to know who to pick up because they've had so much rotation within that midfield three and that front three. It's Kirby breaking forward, across. Scored in the World Cup against Italy. Defender in the set piece caused some problems, and the Dutch may have a problem here because Lika Martins player down here. Down and she got on the score she did this game. The 2017 World Cup. Decent treatment, real quick. Through the 2020 World Player of the Year. Martins has struggled with injury this season at Barcelona. She's missed a considerable amount of the season. Ah. She won't want to be picking up a knock at this point, heading into a European Championship. So hopefully for them, just a soft tissue knock and something that a little bit of a little nice little ice bag will do the job. Of course, the Chelsea defence all sorts of problems in the 2021 Champions League final, but wasn't able to play a full part for Barcelona in their in this current campaign where they lost in the final to Lyon. And now she's joined Lyon's right. All right, Martins is okay. 
So, England's a player down for now. Here's him. And a link up with Daly. And uh, honestly, I was also thinking if maybe we saw a little bit more of Lord James at Manchester United like we did. If she had still played, I feel like she would have been able to make the team. But, you know, she signed for Chelsea, so really didn't get to see her till like the, towards the end. And even, you know, she kind of, you know, but yeah. Laura James, I guess it's just not her time just yet. But I mean, I mean, I wouldn't mind, you know, seeing what she can do. You know, I wouldn't mind. See, I'm ready to, I want to see Laura James with England, of course. And uh, I know she has a lot of potential, so. We gotta be looking out for her, just like Ella too. You know, those two, I thought they were gonna be a great duo at United. And it's unfortunate, you know, gonna stick around. But hey. All right, it's Williamson here for England. Williamson here, looking for Frank Kirby. I don't know, man. Still a little shaky in this midfield. I think, like I said, no, I, I like that Fran Kirby's here to help England in the middle. I think she brings a, uh, a great creativity, uh, bring great vision in England's midfield. And that's why I felt like I said, I felt like I said, when, when I said that Great Britain needed Fran, Fran Kirby and Kim Little. That's what I meant, like just quick players in the midfield and they can create and combine with their teammates pretty easily and um, consistently. And I think England, England and uh, Kim Little needed some help. She had Caroline Weir, in her, but it was just it just wasn't enough for England. Uh, and still then, even with England having Great Britain, actually having three other teams to look at, or three other national teams, they still couldn't get it done. So I'm just like at the Olympics, they're too talented to be losing. You have too, too much depth, you have too many creative players. You just need to find the perfect 11 and then some to be able to, to, be able to go out and perform and win. And I feel like they have that. They have the depth, they have everything they need. Um, at this current moment, at this current moment, I just don't see. It's kind of like USA. It's like, not. I don't want to say that, but I'm just USA is not in this tournament. But England in this tournament, they have the players, you know, over everyone else, no doubt. But uh, yeah. Anyways, here's Hemp. She got a lot of space to take up some space. Good. She gets it out to Williamson here. Williamson has bronze. She back back to Brian Kirby. CC. You know, these passes to, you know, Williamson. Williamson, I don't know. You know, I don't know if she's a creator just yet. Maybe we want Walsh putting that ball into Fran Kirby. But so far, it's been Williamson. She's going to have to find that pass and make that pass um, a little bit more effective for uh, Fran Kirby. But, uh, yeah, you know, England, Netherlands 1-1 one, one in the first half. A couple more minutes. In England, a little teaser, teaser, because you know, teaser match. Um, I think England play Austria when they open up, and uh, I don't know who the Netherlands play. Netherlands are in the group with. Um, I don't remember. I think it's uh, Spain. Denmark and Northern Ireland. Be a key component to going deep into the tournament. Yeah. Maybe. It's a free kick on the far side. How they utilize the strength of the squad will be important as well. So it'll be interesting to see what changes, if any, Serena makes at half time because you need that depth to be able to compete through the latter stages of tournament football. So in the strength and depth to the fore in the last game against Belgium in the second half that'll be a case against the Dutch side as well so you can certainly have one of the strongest squads in the competition it's Williamson Alex Greenwood 
his head up looking for that pass. Bright likewise. And Bright going for that pass into us. Hey, we'll look quick passes here. Even they try to look. Those are tough, some tough passes too. It's like, uh, they're like, Ooh. Kelly here, but defending by Anson. Martins. And Bronze not allowing her to turn. Which is well in the end. They do get the free kick in the end. Bronze, did she yank back Janssen? <laughs> Jackie Gronin to Wallen. Just flicking it on. Yeah, a professional foul there from, from Lucy Bronze. It's not letting any kind of counter attack happen. <laughs> You're looking at her in the background too, this is too funny. Bronze with England's equalizer in this game. Bernstein on the run, Bright chasing after her, Bernstein won't get to that though, gonna run out of play, Lynette Bernstein who's joined Juventus in the past well, after a long spell with Bayern Munich. It's like the first half is going to end 1-1. One, one. Second half should be pretty interesting, hopefully we'll see the players off the bench. Overall, uh, I think this first half of England First of eleven was way better than the second, um, than yes, than Belgium's first half eleven. Um, I think the midfield, uh, you know, having Walsh and Williamson there, um, one of them has to, you know, I think, mm, be a little bit more assertive and help Fred Kirby, and see if they can maybe find him more and Chloe Kelly pretty, seem pretty dynamic on the wing so they gotta find them a little bit more quicker England especially him if she has space to run uh, let her you know she's got the energy uh, and Netherlands you know continue to find um, you know Martin's rod I think she's been a little quiet we can find Jill a little bit more Berenstein Martin's um, Broden needs to be a little bit more assertive, uh, but Netherlands, you know what I'm saying, it's 1-0, I mean, I think they need some help, so hopefully, I think they get the players off the bench, hurry up, and we'll see what they can do, I think, after that, I mean, fuck, it's fair game, that's how I see it as, but here's the final seconds, uh, Rod here, she's gonna have to go for gold more, as well, not just be a assist person, See, gotta put the ball in the box. Broad, on the ground here, looking for Bernstein. Foul, foul is given. On Williamson. <laughs> on Williams? Uh, this is on uh, foul uh, on Bernstein. On Williams. I think she just clipped her heels. <laughs> yeah, this clipped her on top of her foot. Just foot there. One, but looks like Leah Williamson is going to be okay. We spoke, oh. Sorry, we spoke about Miedemar potentially coming on. We've also got Daniela van der Donk on the bench. Mm, interesting. From injury. He's an absolute stalwart in this okay. Dutch midfield. And I'd really like to see her come on and, and test the English midfield with her creativity. Another ex-Arsenal player. Bernstein booked there. Confirmation for that challenge on Williamson. <laughs> All right. So that's the end of the first half. Martins doesn't look happy. She's upset. And then we got 1-1. One, one. Lucy Browns and Martins getting goals. All right. Let's fast forward a little bit. Looks like Beth Mead's making her in way in. Okay, thank you. So we're getting to see the subs. So Van der Donk and number three, Stephanie and uh, Caitlin. So 15 and uh, but no Miedema. No Miedema. No. Uh, it looks like Beth Mead's making her way in. The other player to go off. 
the goal scorer for the Netherlands, who was down briefly in that first half. Siobhan, what are you expecting in this second half? Second half, yeah. Same, I hope. More shots on goal, more opportunities. All right, second half for both teams. And I think Van der to try to win it. Have some bragging rights, have some spaces created uh, before the Euros. And if you're if you're Netherlands, you're pretty happy uh, because you already got a goal, and it was the first goal. So you know, against England, the home nation. You know what I'm saying? All right, England here with him. Kemp, she's got to go for goal. Ooh, that was blocked. Kelly here dropped. Oh, that, oh, what was that? That's Beth Meath? Okay, so Beth Meath came for Chloe Kelly, I guess. Yeah, so Beth Meath has covered in for Chloe Kelly. Interesting, okay. Not sure she wanted that as her first touch. So that's the sub for England. I already got this. The teams right here. Erps, Rons, right. Nothing changed in the back. So we got the midfield still the same with Williamson, Walsh. Oh! oh sorry. With Williamson, Walsh, and, um, and Kirby. No. So they got a center back change. And a looks like Vandalo change. So Vandalo, did she come in from Martins? Looks like Vandalo came in from Martins. So they lost Martins and gained the Vandalo. That's uh, still a tough position. It's, you know, this that's, it's, you know, it's not better than nothing, but still a tough position. You know, if you're the Netherlands. So speedy recovery for Martins. You know, and I thought that the second half was going to get a little easier for the Netherlands with uh, her coming in, but England had the upper hand again because they're they're full of talent. That was a good ball from the sub. This one dunk. She good slide tackle, but she's down here for the count. Now this should have been a goal for Von the dunk. Honestly, um, you were that close to the goal. You gotta finish it. You gotta put it away. Um, yeah, that should have been two one Netherlands right there. How close she was to the goal. Um, you know, great balling from behind. And then for Greenwood to make that a clean tackle, it's crazy, right? Let's see. Oh, shoot, hold on. Uh, I mean, it wasn't all clean. I mean, it wasn't all, that wasn't all a clean tackle. I mean, uh, referee said that. I mean, I, I could see them giving that penalty because it was like, uh. Man, VAR definitely needed today. <laughs> so I'm not too sure what they're about to do. But yeah, um, some of these calls are risky. Some of these calls are 50-50, need an extra replay, slow it down, double, double three take. Um, so she's going to the box, she signaled. So I guess they have VAR this match, which is, um, yeah, we need to see it again. I, you know, the witchcraft be so crazy, be like magic. So, uh, it looked like it was like at the same time, but maybe not. You see Alex Green with her foot, 
But see, her foot is out of with foot. Yeah, that's a penalty right there, fam. That's a penalty. Like, I, like, oh, girls, Wanda Dunk's foot is ahead of Alex Greenwood's foot. She made contact with Wanda Dunk's foot, Alex Greenwood, which ensued Wanda Dunk to fall. So that's a penalty. She didn't get the ball. She got Alex Greenwood. Uh, that should be a penalty. Yeah, it should be a penalty because Wanda Dunk got fouled. She got. She got hit with the ball, by the ball. Yeah, so it's really good to get the replays. Um, but how many times did we need to see that, right? So it's tough, man. It's very magical. So here's an opportunity for the, for the Netherlands to get up a goal off a penalty. And remember when we watched the Netherlands when they should have beat England, when they should have beat USA in the World Cup? Because that match was fucking crazy, right? Netherlands should have beat USA, um, but they didn't, and they missed penalties. So um, hopefully we don't see that because honestly, I would hate for someone to like lose for a penalty. You know, that's not my type of game. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But hey, you know they're they're needed. You gotta have you need those daggers. You know what I'm saying? You give me a penalty, you should be able to bury them. Spice has to be able to put the penalties away. It's just no bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And Mary Herbs, you know, no pressure, homie. Okay, well, we're gonna guess, we're gonna see she's gonna go left. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna choose left. She went left and she missed it. No, she went right. Hold on, I'm trying to think, yeah. She went this way. She went right and she missed it. See, very, very, yeah, she, yeah, in a way. If you're going that way, yeah, she went right. Yeah, she went right. But she missed it. Mary Herbert did go the right way, too, and hit the post. So I'm lucky. But uh, these have to be in the back of the net. No excuses, really, at the end of the day. Um, so, um, yeah, lucky for England. Uh, this wasn't uh, something they had to come back from. Um, so, but Alex Greenwood on a yellow card. So what was that, the 50-something minute that she missed the penalty? Miss penalty, man. The Netherlands. Oh, it's a back in the net. I missed that whole fucking wall. I missed that whole build-up, but it's Beth Mead. She just came in, okay. Hold on. <laughs> So off the, the, off the, uh, um, well, fucking eight, whatever, what is it called? <laughs> okay, let's see what just happened. Okay, here's Hemp here, yeah, Beth Mead, you see Beth Mead in early up top, you see her the whole time, she has so much, Jansen, ha, huh? Jansen, you saw her, Jansen, you were supposed to be tracking Beth Mead. You saw Beth Mead sprinting the whole way through. And then good ball in from Hemp. Um, good finish, you know. She's wide open. I expect her to put that back in the net. The defense that was supposed to be running with Beth Mead was not there. And uh, that's an easy goal here. So England up 2-1 here. Not surprised. Uh, so Beth Mead scoring in the 53 minute. Okay. And this is assist for him. 54 seconds between Spitzer missing the penalty and England scoring. All right, so Netherlands, man, y'all flunked. Like in the process. England free kick. Disappointing few minutes for Spitzer on this special night for her. <laughs> Pass from Taylor. Oh my goodness! And what a great, almost uh, awesome slide tackle. But here's, I was saying here's Houston. But here's uh, England. Ah. Uh, 
It's uh, look like uh, is ruled. this is Ron here again for Bearstein. Okay, looks like yeah, number 12 is in. Number 12. Where's number 12? Palova? Palova. There she is. Number 12. She's been pretty good for the Netherlands. Pretty active. Her right here. All right, corner. Taken short, they played in awkward, but Herbs dealt with that. All right. Well, we got about 30 minutes left, so 2 1. We're wondering if we're going to see Miedema. And we would really like to. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't really want to, like, not see her. Like, I uh, think, like, give her, like, a good 15. You know, why not? I don't, you know, I mean, is she not healthy? Like, what else going on? You know, that's what I don't understand. Let me know. Here come England on the counter. Fran here. Got uh, Beth Mead. I'm what? I mean, Beth. This, this is Hemp here. Williamson? Oh, oh, oh she was fouled. Bro. Daily, to win that daily. getting the start off the goal she scored was nice right the goal she scored she was it's a nice goal another bad giveaway here and i guess get pressure from fran but this should be an opportunity for a goal no fran all the way again oh my goodness this is williamson looks like back to beth mead overlapping bronze bronze goes down my goodness, that should have been a goal when Frank Kirby was up in the mix for England. Uh, no one actually let it rip. But here's Netherlands on the counter. Uh, pretty, and I was, I was like, pretty good ball wide left. But a little too close. She looked for Van der Dom. But yeah, this opportunity for Frank Kirby, this uh, just should have been a goal here for England, though. Okay, so will we have another VAR moment? Um, so that one was pretty quick. It's daily. Get down the line. That's easily cut out by Vilms. Bernstein. Broad. Gronen to Spitzer. Films trying to move that ball quickly. Able to deal with it. Walsh. Losing out. Gronen. Spitzer. So many of these Dutch players have played. All right, good play from that one. Everything looks good. Um, it's kind of. Uh, I think they have more players that can shoot from the midfield, so they're gonna, gonna try to use their speed to get in behind the to get behind England and go for shots like that. And for England, I mean, you got everything you need. I mean, you had the midfield players, you got the offensive players. Put the ball in the box. See if you can find Beth England. Um, Millie Bright off the like set piece, Lucy Bronze corners. And you do have two uh, wing players, uh, Hemp and uh, me that already con combined together for the goal. So, see if you can re replica that. But here's uh, Brent Curry here. 
at wide, see if she... Him. <clears throat> to Mead. Kirby. And the dog just calming things down. <clears throat> Dunkstra. Here's Janssen. Turn. Ambitious pass, but it's paid off there. Van der Donk. Now Rord. Bernstein wants the ball played. Rord again. Granen. Nice back kill as well. The composure on the ball from Rord. Milne sticks that cross out. Looking for Bernstein. Yeah, Netherlands needs something else. Uh, this, is, this isn't going to cut it, you know, with England being up 2-1 now. They have all the, uh, let's say, incentive to, uh, you know, create some more for themselves. This is Netherlands. Like I said, they kind of got weaker with Martins coming off. Talents and 92 of those are from Viviana Miedema, the record scorer in the WSL. Oh, to enter the fray, one of the world's <laughs> famous players, the number nine for the Netherlands. All right, their record, Miedema, and the Arsenal. Oh, excuse me, committed at least and number 12. So that's what we like to see. Uh, but Bernstein's coming off. Oh, she has such a great game as well but um yeah number 22 oh uh, no uh Bruta? Bruta? okay and then looks like stanway's coming in as well for england so some subs both people netherlands subs i think um people that we'll see in the tournament hopefully a little bit more together but yeah it looks like uh greenwood's coming off as well so stanway's here she's in beth england is uh taking taking off too russo okay Lisa russo frank kirby as well For Ella Toon, Russo, Stanway. Very interesting, honestly. These are the youngins. Ella Toon, Russo, and Stanway. Um, we haven't seen Ella Toon, we haven't seen Russo. We've seen Stanway versus Belgium, but we get they haven't seen the other two ladies, the youngins. So, Russo, like I said, should have a little bit more minutes with the striker position. Having Beth England gone, not not Beth England, Ellen White gone. We don't know how long. She's a tall player. She, you know, I like I like Ella too. Both Manchester United players. I actually like Manchester United, even though their city's rival. I thought they had some pretty. They kind of reminded me of like the Washington spirit that used to have. More of their younger star players like Rose Devel and you know Mal Pugh together, playing like stuff like that. Um, but yeah, United, I felt like they had Ella Toon, Russo, um, uh, Lord James. And I thought there's just gonna be a pretty cool trio here at United and do some damage. And they even, you know, they had Christian Press for the year and Tobin Heath for the year, and also had the, the Spanish left back. and and uh, I mean, I just thought, uh, we'll say, Zella, I thought, I thought, they could have been better. I thought, I thought the future was bright for United. How about that? I thought the, fu the future, I thought the future, it still is bright, but you know, they had some other players that were gonna, I thought, really shine. 
But anyways, this was another uh, poor back passing from the Netherlands. Beth, him. Beth Mead was asking, asking it for, asking it in a different way. Him and her went on right dialogue frame. So, we're in the last 25 minutes, it's 2-1, England, Netherlands, goals from Martins, um, we had a goal from Beth Mead and a goal from <clears throat> Lucy Bronze, but also Netherlands had a missed penalty kick. Uh, so, uh, could be 2-2 at the moment, but... Mm. So, based upon the midfield that I saw today with Williamson, Friend Kirby, and uh, Walsh, Friend Kirby was the most active. Williamson and Walsh were kind of like, eh, didn't really see them too much. So I think, um, I think it's still kind of up for grabs in this midfield. But for sure, Friend Kirby is really nice to have. I think you can either play a Walsh or a Williamson, but I feel like play a different player. Uh, but this is really good right here from England, the one twos right there with Daly here getting the shot off. Um, I'm looking at their bench. Um, I was thinking more like an Ella Toon. I was thinking, okay, why not play Fran Kirby, Ella Toon, and Walsh or Williamson? And that's what I was kind of thinking because Ella Toon for me was kind of more creative minded. He could play uh, on and play uh, in behind with Frank Kirby. I just thought maybe and Williamson can, or or Walsh would be more defensively. I thought it was pretty good, but uh, we'll see because we haven't seen Ella Toon. Oh, good saves here from Netherlands, England, looking for third goal. But yeah, I really thought that, um, I don't know, but him, her crossing, which has been pretty dynamic, looking for Beth Mead again here, and then uh, Russo was looking to get a, a paw to it. You see this, uh... Was having a go at the referee for being in the way. Bright playing it forwards. Russo chasing. But we're already seeing why England are considered one of the favourites for the competition because they do have strength in depth. Good fitness to this side as well. They do, and the ability to make changes and not lose your, your flow of your game. If anything, the flow's got better. They've been able to press higher up the pitch. Excuse me, yeah. Oh, 16 minutes. Oh, we haven't even seen Mina but take a shot just yet. Mark Parsons mentioned the word impossible in his previous interview about their chances of winning or defending their title. Here's Mills. Now Ward. Can they supply Miedemar? Doesn't need many chances. Grenon. Spitzer. He's passed from Spitzer though. But that's lost by Walsh. Van der Donk. Roared, but England's winning it back quickly. And Walsh sloppy. Nice from L2 here. Tidy midfield play. Oh, L2. Yeah, see, uh, I'm just taking his stand right here. Getting out to uh, L2 again to Russo. Russo here. Still has it. Takes a shot. Deflected. Alatun did really well, holding up the ball, dribbling through the midfield. Russo ended up taking a shot. She was kind of falling. I don't mind it. Go for goal. She's in the box. Twenty minutes. Looks like uh, Tia Walsh. 
turn off or didn't sound like she was talking. I thought she was leaving the field. Anyways, corner in some set piece, some uh, set piece corner free kick. Uh, uh, I don't know if that was as I don't think that was the plan. Good, good defense, good hustle from the Netherlands goal from the Netherlands striker making England go all the way back and know that corner kick I wonder the leads are not good enough. What a confident second half from England. Here's Mead. Scored their second goal. Just slipped oh, there. that's me, Phil. Bringing it away. Hasn't had a chance to run with the ball yet. Mead a mark. Gets away. Well, meet him up, play more midfield. What, like she was playing with Arsenal? We'll see. <laughs> That's the last time I see meet him up. <laughs> nah, but I think, um, I think, um, I think she, she still scored double digit goals, meet him up. I just think uh, the Dutch connection really missed Arsenal last season. Here's Ella Toon. Ooh. Oh, it's in the back of the net. Goal. Okay, well, Ella Toon, I like the goal. And the goalkeeper, did she just, ah, just like went right underneath her? Unfortunately. But Ella Toon, I'm loving it. Like, we haven't seen her. Didn't see her with Belgium. And yeah, pretty much that's how I haven't seen her. <laughs> but good goal, and I like that she went for a goal. And it was pretty quick. Uh, just, uh, Inside the box ish. Yeah, and she kind of just gets it to drop right underneath the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper misses it. And it's a goal. And, um, yeah, just, yeah. No, I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, how do you say? Uh, showing the sort of touch. And already her. Yeah, I'm not hurt by the goal. I think, uh, okay. Goalkeeper could have done better. I think spikes. Come on. As well, <sighs> they brought the balloons. That's a mother and father. And I like the Netherlands court colors because they're all they're orange and stuff like that. That's a, a color. And they have legalized marijuana. That's also good. A bit of breathing space on the scoreboard. But it's been the Netherlands who've been breathing hard. To Ella Toon. Coming in, make, making a goal. Oh, I'm probably... Honestly, I think Ella Toon has scored in the 72nd minute before for us. Well, England had that extra cushion, which is good. Oh, with the Ella Toon goal. Ron's getting through. She's got to pick somebody off. Oh, that hit the post. Wow. And she miscleared it. Oh, my goodness. Still in the box. And Hemp puts it away. Wow. Misclearing from Netherlands. And Hemp right there. Open net pretty much. Uh, puts another goal here. Making it 4-1. So bronze with a lot of space and actually the cross into the box is poor. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. We're watching it. So she finds old girl right here. Well, actually it was deflected. Now this poor clearance from Newman. She misses it. Then even old girl. Just just poor clearance because there was two opportunities. Newman and number 15 to clear the ball. And you just couldn't do it. Unfortunately, and Hemp just volleys that hoe. Hits nicely. And I think these are the subs, number 15. Yeah. 
And just like that, the two goal cushion ends up being a three goal cushion. The girl Rachel Daly. Or Jess Parcher. Who's really impressed in the last year or so for her club Chelsea. Like I said, it's hit a hemp. Yeah, it's hit fucking a hemp with the 74th goal. Brooke. Driving forward here. It's the sub for two. Beat him up. Oh. Of the world are trying to thread it through. Here is Damaris, who came on as a sub during that flurry of England goals. Talented player herself. Teammate of Van der Donk at Leon. England in this second half. Mightily impressive. It's going to be one of England's strengths going forward in this tournament. The depth within this side, the ability to make changes, and for those subs to come on and make an instant impact. Russo is stretching the play. Russo? <laughs> Puts the ball in. Highly regarded goalkeeper, but she'll be very disappointed indeed with a couple of England's goals, but not a lot she can do about that head strike. Oh, definitely not. There's question marks for sure over the Elatoon goal. The Maris looks in, looks uh, familiar. She may play for Leon. I don't know why. Uh, Williamson comes into the back four. The Greenwood went off. Flexibility from England. Substitutes making all the difference, but also him who started this game, making all the difference. The challenge for Van der Donk. The Netherlands look to respond, and ever since they missed that penalty, the game's just run away from them, really. The Netherlands are normally so consistent in their starting lineup. You know who's going to play. They're very organised. They're very structured. So when they've made these changes, they haven't looked. <coughs> As, oh, say, oh, so. clinical, as dominant on the ball and I think that's got to be so positive for England to know that they can do the complete opposite they can be impactful no matter who they bring on the pitch it's a good ball though from now on still nothing in the end Van der Donk couldn't really take it in her stride well, it's given away though by Mead yeah and I feel like uh, you know if they could find Jill more Netherlands on the dunk more they have Miedema up there as well I just feel like you know and then you have a Martins and then Roden and then you understand why Netherlands will force um, with the uh, Van de Sanding as well and um, here oh. free kick finding Van der Donk Films. Miscued that, but ah, that easy catch. Work in your favour, but Mary Earps claiming the ball. There's been a couple of miscued crosses from that area of the pitch. One which ended up in the back of the net. Thankfully, not the latter. Is bright. Oops. So. I think the subs really did help vamp up England, and that's the that's the uh, the that's just the great thing you have when it comes to depth. And um, they could do this to teams like where a couple of the players are just not in sync, and then they bring on you know a couple additions off the bench, and it really triggers um, what they need, and they can get some quick goals fast. And uh, you know we're gonna see in the tournament. Who has players that can that can do this? And this just shows again, once again, why England are heavy favorites. And you know, be a damn shame. Or it just why they're heavy favorites uh, to win.
uh, beating the defending reigning Euro champions at home already. So, you know, scoring four goals so far. So, beautiful control, reverse pass as well. A no look pass from him and Carter hanging in there. Well, Vaynerdown got something on there. Was, uh, fouled in the end. And it's in the back of the net, too. Which always means a VAR check, of course. But, but I think that was a foul. I think that was a foul. It was so. Yeah, most definitely. It was a, a similar challenge to the one where Maria went down in the first half. Looked like, like another volley, but they called a the foul. Yeah. Both sides about to bring on substitute each. The young yeah, so. Kirsten Kasparai. Number 18. Just come on now. Also him. A fresh opponent for him, but Hemp's got off as well. Another rest for Lauren Hemp. Another one. Nikita Paris. And Nikita Paris. A popular England player. To like the luxury of England, bro, I'm telling you. The luxury of England on their bench is not even fair to Like, damn, like, like, USA has, like, the closest one I can think of compared to the like, talent stuff. But England, is this going to be enough for y'all to win the Euros? We're gonna find out. And did hurt England when she earned a penalty. But another player who has a danger in the midfield. Final. Yes, Damare Segarola. There's an interesting story. Born in the U.S., the father is from the Basque country, already represented Spain, but committed to the Netherlands national team earlier this year. Just her third cap tonight. Briefly an Everton player, but now a Leon one. Champion of Europe. Mead. Oh, oh yeah. After this, take, gonna get cool. Uh, take it out. <laughs> take it out. Brown's here with the foul. She doesn't think she fouled anyone. Jansen. I wasn't too sure what happened. It looked like she something like in the eye. Yeah, like she kind of caught a foot or caught a something in the eye. Doesn't look too good. Paris here, Nikita Paris. Looking for two. And the game overall has felt closer than the score I suggest. But most of those in attendance tonight, over 19,000 to the confirmed attendance in Leeds. And most of them England fans, of course. A few orange shirts in the crowd as well, though that could be either side tonight. Good attendance. The Dutch followed everywhere by the Orange Army. Good crowd out here in England for the ladies' match. And I'm, I'm curious to what locations that they chose uh, for the tournament group stages, quarterfinal matches, semi final matches, stuff like that. In England, that they chose to participate in. That's always interesting. When England played Belgium, they were in the Wolfsburg, Wolfsburg, Wolfs, the Wolfs, uh, in the top, they were in their stadium, very nice stadium. England expecting very good attendances for their three matches. Hampton, Brighton, 
beginning oh, at Old Trafford. In their group, Austria, Norway and Northern Ireland. The Dutch have Sweden, Portugal and Switzerland. And the Swiss are up next for England. Ah, uh, too much power on that one from that Williamson to find Carter. On ITV4. Final five. Next week, so, Thursday, of June. England plays Thursday. Switzerland. And Switzerland is also in the um, Euros. And Switzerland are kind? I don't really see them, you know, they're not like, oh wow. But what we get to know about these other teams is future potential stars. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they may not all, you know, for future, future stars that could play for your team until you know, the national team have a golden era. Um, where all the players have the potential and the ability to uh you would say uh hmm. Yeah. Kind of new and deflects that one off Russo. Russo good pressure. Walsh? Here in Paris, Lear all the way to Carter. That was L2 here. It's a free kick. Long the dunk really didn't have to pass. The rotation from England. Oh, that was her. Since they've changed to having two tens, they've made her. so much more difficult <laughs> for the Netherlands to, to defend. They haven't known who to pick up, who's going to drop into, into that hole and pick up the extra 10. Caused lots of problems and I'm sure we'll give Serena Wiesman a lot of food for thought as to whether she goes with two 10s or whether she goes with two holding midfielders. Oh, it's free kicking them. Take this free kick. Let's have everybody back to defend it. Uh, Bethany's gonna take this one here. Alright, see so if she can find a teammate. In the air. Clear. Nikita Paris, or that's Russo here. Russo, of oh, Beth Mead, Ella Toon, Ella Toon, Beth Mead. Man, a lot of, whoa, what the fuck, who was that? Okay, that was Ella Toon and Beth Mead, then that was Kira Walsh. But good footwork from those two, very close in exchanges. Another free kick. Quick, quick restart for England. Brilliant since she's come on. There's a real sense of competition there in this team. But who's going to nail down that, that right wing position between herself and Chloe Kelly? And it's very, very healthy competition because they're both performing fantastically well. And they've shown flexibility in this game, England. Of course, we must remember it is a friendly. You can't make that many subs in the tournament. Plenty for Serena Vingman to think about. She knows that already. She says she was close to knowing her starting eleven, but again, more performances off the bench, making it even more difficult again. She won't mind that. Here's two. Hello, two. Going England. I'm sure Serena is very close to knowing who that starting eleven is. But it gives her so much more confidence, I'm sure, knowing that she can trust all of the players within the squad to come on and do a job, even in pressure situations, when it's 1-1, when it's 2-1, when they need to come on and perform. Oh, good ball between. This is L2. Oh, she puts it in. Russo. This is me, me, me. There she goes. All right, another goal for Beth Mead. Well done. Off the bench, scoring two goals here. Beth Mead. 
Well, like I said, like it's very, it's very great to have players that can just come off uh, the bench and kind of just revamp the team. And uh, England have this. So 89 goal me, but you see the good balls, the size of Russo. She ends up passing it back. Me looks to sharpen her. Chloe Kelly starting this game. But yeah, two goals for Beth Mead. Well done. After pressing in the second half against Belgium. First one was pretty easy. Second one. She had to do a little work on that one. One of England's standout players under Serena Vigman. Alright, we had the 90 minutes. You look at this scoreline and you think it's been a completely dominant display from England, but it's a relatively equal second half. This second half, ever since the Dutch missed the penalty, it's been pretty much one way traffic. There were questions asked. It's the Paris. England asking more questions here. Paris, will it be six? Tune, keeping it alive. And this is very uh, attacking high tempo England right here. Uh, with the players they have brought off the bench, which is really, like I said, like scary. If you're in the, if you're defense, you're like they have a whole fresh new eleven they can bring on. If, if you know, um, so the teams have to be sharp. Too much for the opposition. And this must this will be hard school line to take, really, for the Netherlands, but of course, it is only a friendly. It's their first warm up game. They've actually got a World Cup qualifier next week against Belarus, which was delayed. <laughs> They've not secured their place at the next World Cup yet, the Dutch. Stanway. There were questions asked after the Belgian game and points made about are England clinical enough? Yes, they're creating opportunities. Browns opened up England's scoring sheet. <laughs> to the kids. <laughs> uh, but um, she opened up the scoring sheet off the corner cross. Not corner cross, it was like a, a, a cross shot. Good touches from uh, Ella Toon. Almost setting up her teammate, Russo. And that's very creative, you know, Ella Toon. She's kind of giving me, um, you know, Ashley Hatch. Not Ashley Hatch. Um, Ashley Sanchez vibes here. It's Ella Toon. Very quick. Off the tempo. You see her right there. Very quick. The touches. Very decisive. And she's pretty creative. Crafty player. Russo here, too. Getting uh, some opportunities. In the post, but yeah, positive, positive young lionesses. Um, Ella Toon and uh, Russo, so they look good. They look good. We'll hit our four minutes in change. And that's it, y'all. England end up winning 4-1. 5-1, excuse me. Hey, could this be a result in a semi-final, quarter-final, even a final match? England win 5-1. Uh, but this was a sort of pretty strong Netherlands side. But they had Amidama and Van der Donk off the bench, on the bench. So we need to see those two start and then 
Netherlands. Defending champions. Anyways, thank y'all once again for tuning in to Anita's Joint. Hashtag extended joint where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl Anita flying high. Flying out of this third dimensional reality. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.